Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So I was just working on my Resident Evil video and I plan to have that out, I think most likely tomorrow. I'm also going to go see Tenet tonight, so do you guys want me to post a review for that? Because I think I'm actually going to because I love Christopher Nolan. I want to get my thoughts on that movie. Apparently the storyline for that is very, very confusing. So now that I know that going into this movie, I'm going to try and pay attention as much as I can. But I, I imagine it will be kind of difficult just because it's a Christopher Nolan film, right? And even with Inception, I had a hard time understanding that movie as well. The first time I watched it anyways, the second time, then everything made a lot more sense. I was like, oh, okay, now I get what they're what they mean with all this dream stuff. But this, because it has to do with time, I imagine it's a little more difficult because even with Interstellar, watching that movie, I understood the entire thing. It's just when you rewatch stuff like that, you, you see things differently, you get it because you're watching it with a different point of view now. So anyways, I'm watching that tonight because it's not going to be over until like one in the morning or something like that. I most likely will have a review out for tomorrow at some point. And also, I want to talk about Resident Evil because it seems like we're getting a live-action TV series by Netflix, which I think they could do a really awesome job with this. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Now, what I do want to talk about in this video is obviously this image right here of Morgan Jones for Fear the Walking Dead Season 6. I've been meaning to talk about this for a little bit. Actually, I think they released this yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, or it was the day before that. And I just thought it was a really cool picture of Morgan. But... More so, I think the message behind it, which I actually think is dividing the fan base a little bit. Now, before we get into this, obviously, I do have to warn you for spoilers for Fear the Walking Dead Season 5. Spoilers, I guess, for The Walking Dead Season 8. And I guess kind of Season 9 and 10, just spoilers in general. If you, I mean, you've all probably watched it all anyways at this point. And if you're new to the channel, Fear the Walking Dead is returning October 11th. I am excited for the Morgan journey and the Morgan story of it, so I'm going to be watching for that reason. I guess specifically because of Morgan and the time jump stuff, because obviously you can tell in this image here that Morgan has aged quite a bit, or not quite a bit, but his hair is a lot longer than it usually is, so some time has passed. It could even be like three or four or five years, which means they are catching up slowly to the Walking Dead Season 10's timeline, which I'm really excited about, so I'm hoping that they get really close to it. Anyways, I'm interested in that. I know I said I wasn't really going to review Fear the Walking Dead anymore, but I'm actually interested in this Morgan storyline. And I also, I said that after the end of season four, actually it was like at halfway through season four. And then I reviewed season five for like the first couple of episodes until the, I guess the helicopter episode when I realized it was really nothing. So I stopped watching it until the finale. And then I had to do that because of that big moment. And I'm not saying that the cliffhanger worked at all because I already assumed that Morgan was going to survive. It's more of what they're doing with the character that I'm actually interested in. And I know what some people are going to say, like, they've already done this with him so many times. And, and I really do agree with, but there's something about it that I do like. So if you want to get my reviews on this, just make sure to be a subscriber. The show is returning on October 11th, a week after The Walking Dead Season 10 finale airs. Which, actually, you know what, I'm going to... We are 37 days away until The Walking Dead Season 10 finale return so yeah that's exciting i had to look it up just now but that's how many days are left so i'm hyped now this image to me of morgan just looks absolutely badass it's just morgan is an incredible character he is one of my favorite characters of all time he's for sure i would say in my top five i didn't like what they did with him during all out war and even the season before like season seven and eight i just i wasn't a fan of how they handled him Lenny James is obviously a really great actor, and I do think if he was on The Walking Dead right now with Angela Kang as the showrunner, I mean, man, imagine the story we would get with him. I would actually love if Morgan became the new lead and he took Rick's place, because Daryl doesn't really fit being the lead at all, but I can see Morgan being the lead, and it's crazy that they never thought of that. Like, Andrew Lincoln is leaving, well, if you go back to the first episode, who are the first two main characters of the series? Like, you can even argue are the original, original characters. It, it's Rick and Morgan, right? I would say Morgan is more original than Daryl and all of them because that's the way I used to think of it in season one and two and stuff like that. I always thought that, oh, Morgan is the guy that Rick met before he met everyone. So he's like the, a more original character. But yeah, I never even thought of that before. Why didn't they have Morgan there for season nine? Why make him leave? It makes no sense. Morgan would be a perfect lead for The Walking Dead. You would have Morgan looking out for Judith and stuff, and then Daryl will be working with Morgan. They can form that relationship there, like that brother-like bond, and man, there's so much you can do there, especially with Morgan and Negan. Both of those characters have such conflicting ideologies that that would make for some really interesting scenes. Also, they've never had a scene before. 
which is really nuts. So, oh, I'm so mad. I'm even more mad now that he went to Fear the Walking Dead. But it's not too late. It really isn't too late. They could bring him back at any point, which could even be their secret weapon, honestly. They can bring him back in like season 12 or 13 or something like that. And I imagine a lot of interest, if interest anyways, in the show is dying down. I'm not sure if it's going to or not. I'm even saying it's going to at all. It's just if it does, you know, that's a really great way to do it because, man, that'd be so perfect. Anyways, not to ramble any further. I think what, at least what I'm seeing in the comment section from people, the quote, Morgan Jones is dead, I think is giving a lot of people these, I guess, clear flashbacks. And there's nothing wrong with clear Morgan. I actually like clear Morgan. And so when I see him like this, I actually get a little excited about it. But I do think of of how he was in season eight, wanting to kill everyone. And, And that was just, again, I like Morgan like that. It's just the way it was handled. It was just so boring. And I just don't like these characters going back and forth. And, and you know what I mean? They're going to believe in this. And then they're going to go back to this and believe this. And I'll watch in a couple more seasons. They're going to believe this again. I don't like that. So I'm hoping they're doing something different here. Because he is saying Morgan Jones is dead, right? So that could mean that Morgan Jones, who he was, is actually gone. That he's actually gone further than Clear Morgan. And maybe he's, I don't know, I'm interested in what they're going to do with it. I hope there's something there. There's a point to it. Don't just do it because you got to do something different with the character. It makes sense that after what Morgan went through, he lost, you know, everyone was taken away from him and he almost died, but he survived that being alone again would do something to him. But I think something more has to happen. So I'll have to wait and see. But I I imagine Lenny James's acting and stuff and his performances as his character where this character is going next, it's going to be great. I definitely am excited for it. I just don't know how it's going to work with this season being, it's not bottle episodes, but they're like little mini stories. Each episode is its own story. And I guess it'll add up to like this grander story or whatever throughout the season. I just don't know how I feel about that because what does that mean for Morgan? How much are we going to see of him? Are we just going to see him in the first episode, the premiere? And then again, in like the mid-season finale, it could be fine if everything else is great. But yeah, I don't know. I have a lot of questions about this season. I'm interested in knowing what's going to happen here. But I just on Morgan, I do understand why people would be a little annoyed with it. But I'm going to give them a chance here. I want to see what they're going to do with this. I personally don't believe they would do a clear Morgan again. Maybe they'll do something similar, but it'll just be different. And yeah, for me, I'm just waiting for the point of it. Like, I don't want Morgan to be going on this insane, crazy, clear Morgan or clear 3.0 now Morgan journey when it's going to lead back to the same place where he realizes that, you know what, maybe I shouldn't be this way. Maybe the character is just different now, right? Like, just do something like that. Maybe he does come back a little bit, but he is just overall, he's a little different. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but I, I do like the look of him here. He is one of my favorite characters. He looks badass as hell. So, yeah, post your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this. What are your predictions for Morgan for Season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead? And I'll see you guys in the next video.